Hey everyone, this is Brett Bumiter at Brett Bum on Twitter or YouTube. And I'd like to talk about how to perform post-production on Google Hangout videos once they've been published into YouTube itself. Typically when the video goes into YouTube after you've done a Google Hangout, you'll see this Hangouts Google Plus uh, logo thing for the first few seconds of the video. And I want to talk about how to clean that up. I also want to talk about how to better use some of the components uh, of Google Hangouts uh, as well, such that when you're running your show, you're using the lower one thirds to you know highlight different topics that you're talking about throughout the show. Uh, that's in addition to obviously using the lower third to identify yourself when you're talking or the other people uh, that are possibly on the show with you as well. Um, but those lower thirds, you can toggle them on and off with the toolbox within uh, Google Hangouts, and it can be a very effective way to help people see what's going on. So in addition, when we're doing post-production work, uh, we, you know, you go on the air and, and use those lower thirds. Uh, uh, eventually that will be posted to YouTube, and you'll need to trim up uh, or trim off those uh, items uh, or those seconds of Google Plus Hangout logo stuff at the beginning of the video. And to do that, uh, it, it's possible to do that in on YouTube itself. So all you have to do is go into enhancements uh, first, and you'll notice that there's a trim button uh, on the just below the player pause button down at the lower left hand side of uh, the screen there. And it, it takes a little work, but we can uh, start to first figure out, you know, where does this Google Plus Hangout stuff uh, end at the beginning? You kind of have to hit the play button and, and pay attention to the seconds and figure out how many seconds have gone by uh, that we might want to trim off because the trim button on Google, uh, on YouTube editor is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, or to be a little bit more specific, you'll have to kind of, well, here, let me get into it more. You come in here and you can drag and drop this, but it's not terribly intuitive about where you're dragging and dropping things. You can hover down on these little bitty arrows here in the lower corners to move things left or right. And I'm going to nudge this right just a little bit. And you can almost see it. It's almost hard to see, but there's a little play counter down just below that item. And I'm nudging up a tenth of a second each time I hit it. So I basically want to nudge my way along until I get to about the two second mark. And I can, it's difficult to see probably in this video, but I can see that in the preview area, things are shifting. I'm actually scrolling forward in this video very slowly. I just want to get far enough along. I'm at 1.8 seconds. So moment 1.9, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2. I think it's somewhere around 2.5 or 2.6. Actually, okay, so I just saw it flip. I'm going to go back. So there I'm on a Google Hangout brand, and I want to get rid of that, come in. And typically, sometimes after you start a Google Hangout, it, it's, uh, it won't record right away. So you might have some dead air or something like that is as all the parties come online. So the person that starts the recording, they might show up, and then the second person might show up, or however many people are going to show up. So you might have some dead air that you want to get out of there as well. So I'm going to move it there. I'm at 3.2 seconds, and I'll, I'm going to hit Done once there. Then I'm going to hit, uh, it'll start automatically playing. I don't want that. I want to trim again. This time I want to look at trimming the end off of this video. So I'm going to first get a sense of about where the end is. So I'll kind of scroll that down. Total video is uh, just around 14 seconds or so, or 14 minutes and, and 11 seconds. So that's uh, ending the video. 14.09 approximately is when it comes in. So this shows 14 minutes, 10 seconds, 0.4 seconds. So I want to nudge this one now to the left, taking it down to about 14 minutes and 9 seconds. There we have it to, to trim that. And I want to hit trim again and hit done. And now I'm going to hit save. Uh, and, and this is an important heads up. It says, as a heads up, saving changes may take a little while. In the meantime, viewers will continue to see the current, that's the old version, until the new video is processed. 
That's important for another reason. We're going to do some other editing things on this video. And in some phases of this other editor, since we're going to go right to it, we won't be able to see these changes either uh, immediately. But we will, those changes will take place uh, eventually. So there you have it. And again, there's another warning up here. Sit tight, your video edits are, are being processed. So that's the third step of post-production Google Hangouts videos. The next thing is we need to upload an intro and an outro clip because we want to put our own intro into that video and we want to kind of end that video with our own outro clip as well. So this is something that's kind of tricky to do typically editing a video on YouTube. We're going to go to a place called, uh, not the Google editor, the, uh, the YouTube editor. A bit of a typo there. And we're going to come in here and I'm just going to open up a new tab. Go to youtube.com slash editor, not edit, editor, T-O-R. And this will bring up all of our videos, or that is, in this case, all of my videos uh, from my YouTube channel. And I want to come in here and I want to do a new project, create a new project. And in this case, I want to use, uh, when I named my Hangout, I named it with a with the, what was eventually going to be the title. I do want to use that again. So I'm going to come into my editor. I copy-pasted that and give that uh, the name of my project. Then I mentioned before that you'll want to upload an intro. I've actually uploaded a 10-second uh, intro video. It's kind of a special video or special intro because there's literally uh, nothing. There's some background music and there's kind of a moving video slide, but there's no text in there. We're going to add that text here in the YouTube editor. Um, I purposely left it blank so that I can edit it on the fly here in YouTube. And then I'm going to grab that last video that I just worked on that was called Pricing Table Options. Drag that down here. This probably looks like your typical editor. Now, at this point, uh, you'll see this Hangouts uh, thing that is there from our previous work it hasn't uh, disappeared yet. But in our finished video here, it should disappear. Something to keep an eye on. You might have to redo this if you do it too fast. But I've done this before, and generally what happens is I'll see it in the editing thing here, but the final product won't have this thing that says Hangouts Google Plus. Scroll down a little bit more, and I'm going to add, I'm going to use the same outro clip, as, or intro clip, same clip, 10 second clip, uh, for my outro. It's called intro, and, and here I've uploaded it. I could have a, a special separate one if I wanted to, but I don't need it for this particular video. So there we have it. We've got the start of our project. So we've created a new project. We've added the intro. Uh, we've added our trimmed out hangout video, and we've added an outro. I'm going to set some transitions. That's our, our next step, step 10. And to do transitions, if you come up here, you can hover over these uh, two arrows pointing or at each other, these two triangles pointing at each other, and you can pick uh, some different transitions that you might want to use. I'm just going to use some simple crossfades. I'm dragging it down to the uh, intro and outro area, or the intro and the start of the video. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just kind of dragging it down. It automatically comes in with a duration of two seconds. So we've got our transitions. Now I'm going to add some text to those intros and outros. So, okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click the text box up here next. And I'm going to pick the type of text that I want to use. There's a handful of options. You can just center a title in there. Uh, or use a banner, or a center fade, or a slider, things like that. In this case, I'm going to give a zoom a try. I haven't tried one of those before. I'm going to drag that text box down over top of my intro. It's not going to replace it. It's just going to layer up. It's going to put a text layer on top uh, of that item. And it's going to autoplay my intro. I'm going to copy-paste. I still have it in my uh, title that I, I'm using on this video. I'm going to put pricing table options. 
which is partly what this video is talking about in WordPress responsive themes at Brett Thumb. That's me talking with at Warren Whitlock, who was also in the video. And so I've got all of my text. I'm going to make that small so that it fits in my overlay. I'm going to change the text color, uh, in this case, to let's sample something here and see what we've got. So there we have it. kind of fits right in there. You have to be a little careful with uh, where you put your line returns, and I've done this a couple times, so I've got a little bit of practice. Fonts and things like that can help, but that's about how it's going to look. So I'm going to save that. And I can preview that a little bit if I like as it goes through. There's still got 10 seconds, pricing table options in WordPress. It's going to fade to that Hangouts thing, uh, which is dropped down a little bit. That should all be gone at the end of this once everything is finishes up processing. Now I'm going to add some text to the outro. In this case, just to show you uh, something different, I'm going to pull in a slightly different text or something like that. And again, I need to get my text color something different, change my font sizes, and now we'll see how that looks. A little bit too much text. So I'm going to cut it way down. See how this looks. Fit in. That's a little better. That's about as good as you can get with the text editor here in YouTube right now. So I'm going to hit save. And at this point, we want to save our project, publish it. So to save it in this case, we want to hit publish. And it's going to start to process. So the video is going to take a while to process. Uh, it could easily take an hour or two. So don't expect things to be finished and live and ready to go right away. Once it's done, there's two things that you'll need to do. Uh, in general, you'll need to come through and you'll need to add your description, your keywords, and the typical things that you would need to add for a YouTube video. But you'll also need to go into your video manager and find that old original video. In this case, uh, that video is here. And you'll need to uh, change it to either unlisted or private or just delete the video so that you don't have duplicate video content on YouTube. I've got one in progress at the moment. Uh, two videos that I've uh, worked on. Uh, one of those is, is here and it's uh, they're both live at the moment but this one uh, is hidden and this is the uh, this is the item, this is the video that I've cleaned up, added an intro to and some other things. So this one isn't available to the public not easy to find. I can see it because I'm logged in, but no one else can find that through YouTube. That'll eventually happen to my original video here, so it becomes kind of source video material, and it will be uh, replaced with this video once it's done being processed. So that's how you can do uh, post-production in YouTube. I'll, I'll kind of give you a... I'll go ahead and open up this one real quick. So this is the one that I previously worked on. And again, it kind of starts with the same text overlay on top of, of my intro, my blank intro slide. And then that eventually goes into my actual video that starts um, what would be about 10 seconds in to that video. It's got all the, of course, the description information and uh, all the keywords and, and all that good stuff too. So that's how you do video post-production on a Google Hangout generated video once it makes it when that gets automatically published over to YouTube. I've looked high and low for information on how to do that. I found bits and pieces in a couple different areas, but I haven't seen anybody put it all together. If you've done this better yourself or know some other ways to do this, I would love to hear your feedback in a video reply or in a reply or even if you want to drop a link or 10 links to your own blog articles on how to do it. I don't care uh, how we share the love on who's found what or whatever. I just want to learn how to do it better myself. This is the best way that I've found to do it so far. It's not quite to the level of uh, professional video production that I would like to have these videos going at yet. 
but for videos generated in a Google Hangout, it's uh, the best that I can do so far. And if you know anything better, please share the knowledge. And I thank everybody. And again, if you've been enjoyed or benefited from this video, please consider hitting uh, the like button or sharing it or subscribing to my channel. I cover some video tips, uh, lots of WordPress tips, and other ways of doing useful things on the internet every now and then. Uh, just like everybody else, I'll even put up a cat video because my wife and kids have cats. So there you have it. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon.